Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. Now this is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to pick, well I picked an oracle deck and I'm going to um, do some tarot after that. But this will give me some sort of hint as to what's going on in your life at the moment. Different deck, different star sign. I just picked whichever I felt. Um, so... This will be for May, June. If I get time, I will do another one for June. But for now, May, June. But take as resonates. Could be time, can be fluid. So it could be whenever you see this. Um, it may have already happened for you or it may be still coming. But yeah, take as resonates. All right. Tell me about Virgo, please. Spiritual protection. Interesting. I have one more card, please. You've got reopen on the bottom, reopen the lines of communication. You've got spiritual protection, and the reopen is in reverse. And you've got communicating using the four clairs in reverse. So communication, both in reverse. Interesting. 22-23. And you've got peace on the bottom as well. Dodgy neighbours underneath that. <laughs> okay, so for some of you, there might be something going on. I mean, when it says neighbours, it doesn't necessarily mean right next door. But this could be somebody in your life. It says no one to walk away, no one to run. Um, so, there's, so there's a situation that you don't feel safe in. Maybe there's a lack of communication or the communication is not healthy, full of lies, those kind of things. Um, I feel like if you need help, reach out, ask for protection. If you don't feel safe, obviously reading the police or, you know, but spiritually maybe this person's into dodgy shit that maybe you need to feel like you need to protect yourself from um that's number 57 7 8 9 10 and 12 so 12 2 and 1 is 3 so it's about you taking action it's about you growing so i feel like yeah if you need some sort of spiritual protection maybe pray maybe reach out Talk to the universe, the divine, whoever you believe. It's definitely a different read. Um, but I feel like, you know, it is, you're wanting peace in your life. You're not wanting this situation. So you're obviously not talking to whoever this is. And... Yeah, just, I feel like you're just not communicating, either of you. Like, you're not communicating with each other, and if it is, it isn't healthy communication. And this could have been somebody that you felt close to. <clears throat> My throat just went weird. Yeah, so <coughs> maybe like a like you didn't get to speak your truth or they don't feel like they got to speak their truth. You're not communicating. There's no, yeah, there's no communication here. Um, and it's their number 46, which is 10. So 10s are about endings and closure and exiting. Um, so something had to end. Um for you to get peace and three and peace is number 31 three and one is four so fours are about stability and you know a firm foundation so i feel like whoever this is that you're getting out of your life that you're not communicating with is actually probably that's actually a probably a good thing 
can we go? No communication. start with the ace of swords it's pretty much saying the same in reverse though um no communication uh maybe there's like there's too many obstacles when it comes to this situation so whether there's like and it doesn't mean so much but it means like there are obstacles so whether it's like no truth or whether it's um as i said when they talk to you they don't talk to you in a good way whatever this is it's like too many obstacles like we can't i have no desire to talk to this person ever again you know that kind of thing yeah because as i said you want this firm foundation right you're moving on you're leaving the past behind you're like eh. you know yeah this might have broken your heart because these were people that or person or whatever that was close to you but i do feel like you're kind of letting that go and maybe you are willing to forgive this person but at the same time like you just want everything to be like hunky-dory you know like put the past in the past let's just move on i'll forgive you you forgive me blah 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 but hmm Yeah, I mean, maybe even you're like, I don't even remember what we were arguing about. Like, it was just, even if you want forgiveness, though, I don't feel like it's going to happen. I feel like this was probably destined, that there was going to be conflict. It made you, like, even if you gave this person another shot, I feel like it would end the same way. There would be you trying to, like, you're getting pissed off, but you try to hold it inside because you don't want to cause another fight. But it's still going to go the same way. This person is going to shit you off. Um, all right. So, yeah, this, it's like you need a breath. You need a moment. You are exhausted, burnt out. You feel stuck. It's like, you know, these people in our life are no longer in our life. But it's the whole thing's exhausting. Um Maybe you didn't stand your ground either when it came to this, but I mean, that's another card of exhaustion and indecision and feeling overwhelmed and um, wanting to give up. Um, I feel like for you, I mean, you may have been like, I, let's move on. We both agree to disagree. But I feel like you should have gone, well, no, you did, like, you needed to speak your truth and stand your ground. Like, no, you should have looked after my child better. Or, no, you should have done A, B, and C. You didn't. Or you did this and you knew you shouldn't have. Or whatever, right? Um, I trusted you when you did this. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like this is a huge change because this person was a part of your life, right? So you're feeling or they're feeling like a victim, they're feeling rejected or you're feeling rejected, whoever this is, someone's, and it could be both of you, you both feel rejected, you both feel lonely, you both feel whatever. Um... Then you have the six of pentacles. Why is that here? Yeah, like I feel like from your side, you always felt like you were giving, giving, giving to this person. Um,
you feel like it was very one-sided you feel like um I mean this could have been something like okay the person borrowed money from you and then they never ever paid you back or you were giving to them all the time and they were taking 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 but then when you needed them they were not there something like that um, but at the same time you didn't want to lose this person And this could have even been like a family member, uh, could have been um, yeah, somebody you were you were close to. To get a firm foundation though, there's gonna be something that you are going to have to sacrifice. And it is going to be something that you're not going to be happy to lose. Like, I am yawning my head off right now. I feel like this is exhausting me. Like, I feel like I need to go and have a nap. 1133. Yep. You want this peace. You want this place of just happy home, you know, putting the past in the past or or getting away from these people. I mean, you would have preferred to have, you know, this to ended well, but things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. Um, maybe there needs to be some sort of forgiveness or... Maybe you're just not seeing the hidden blessings. Like maybe this will, like you're so busy focused on the negative or they're so focused on the negative. They're not, yeah. Yeah, someone feels like they're definitely... They're definitely suffering. Like it, it, it's like worry, fear. You're overactive, thinking about it all the time. Obsessive thoughts, guilt, regret. You know, like whatever. Um, also feeling very alone. Like look at the picture. She's on the, um, I don't know, the edge of a cliff all by herself, with the world card in reverse. Feeling like something's not over. It's going to take patience and um, yeah, you can only control you and you can only control how you respond. So I feel like, you know, you might come from a place of maturity and wisdom and, you know, patience, whereas they might not. So whatever this, whatever this situation is, Somebody here wants to forgive the other person, but it's going to take time. I don't know if the other person wants that to happen or not, but I mean, this is, this could be you because it's your reading, but you can't make a decision. You need to follow your own heart. And, and don't worry about making other people happy or doing what other people want or whatever. I feel like you need to do what you feel is, is right. Page of Wands in reverse. Does this person get angry easily or...
I guess whatever your guiding principle is in life, I feel like whatever you believe, whatever, say you're a Christian person and you believe about giving people a second chance and forgiveness and, you know, all those things. If that's what you believe, then maybe you need to look at what you believe and, and follow that. Um, but I also feel like it's about getting, there's some sort of wisdom and things can turn out okay. Um, with the sun card. Now, what does that mean with these people? Still got balance in reverse. And forgive them. Look, I feel like whatever thoughts you're having, whatever you're trying to manifest, it's also becoming aware. Like, um, yeah. Becoming aware of what you want. Um, for some of you though I do feel like this could be someone that you feel like you needed to detach from um You feel very overwhelmed, like I said, and they're very defensive and you're very defensive and it's kind of a tough situation because you felt like this was somebody that, you know, you could see in your life forever. Um, really, it comes down to free will. I mean, in the end, it needs to be an equal give and take. There needs to be, like, peace, really. Um, there needs to be forgiveness. There needs to be leaving the past in the past, you know, making a positive movement forward, um, communication, uh, somebody, you know, stepping up and taking action, you know, you have to listen to your own your own heart though like listen to yourself listen to your intuition to your heart what is it you want do you want these people person whatever in your life um can you forgive them can they forgive you you know like all of those things it's all something you need to consider like i can give you guidance but you know the situation better than anyone and I feel like you need to think about whether you can forgive this person or whether you can't. Um, yeah. I'm sorry to say at the moment, it's you need to just trust your own gut, trust your own heart. All right, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.